value which is 2 and then the range is 8 okay so maximum subtract uh, minimum move on to the second part all right so for the second part you need to calculate the median okay uh, so the median the key word for the median is middle okay so we're looking for the value in the middle okay median middle okay so which value is in the middle where is the median where is the middle of this data set okay we've got 10 values from 2 to 10 and so the median lies between 5 and 6 okay so that is our median there and how do we know that that's the median because you can count the values to the left you've got 1 2 3 4 and 5 values on the left we also have 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 values on the right so we've got 5 on the left and 5 on the right so that is how we know that our median lies between 5 and 6 okay so what do we do if we've got a median between two numbers so what we do if we've got a median that lies between two numbers is we add those two numbers and we divide them by two okay let's just see that so to get the median between five and six we take five plus six we get the sum of five and six and we divide it by two uh, and that gives us the median of 11 over 2 if we convert uh, the fraction using that button uh, to convert the fraction to a decimal we get 5.5 okay so that's how you calculate the median middle all right and uh, the mode the keyword for mode is most so we're basically looking at the value that appears the most so if you look at this data set all the other values appear once two appears once four appears once five appears once six once seven once eight once nine ones and uh, ten ones so two is basically the only value that appears twice okay so then our mode is three because that's the value that appears the most okay i hope that makes sense to everyone then we move on to the last part uh, of question two which is the, uh, the mean. How do you calculate the mean? Mean is basically the total divided by the number. So we get the total of all 10 values and we divide them by 10 because the, uh, the number of those values is 10. So 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 will give you 57 divided by 10 the number of observations uh, and of course if you um, divide 57 by 10 uh, that will give you 5.7 okay I think that is pretty straightforward all right guys so this is where we say goodbye to